Welcome to Rivalcrew.com. In this video, we'll discuss about how to create a species in Confluence. So, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's begin with today's agenda. Then we'll move further with practical demo. We'll discuss here what is space in Confluence, how to create a space in Confluence, and the complete setup with practical demo before starting with confluence portal we have to create our own login credential post creating login credential you are able to see this icon would be available post your login once you click on the confluence you are navigated to wiki pages so here for creating any spaces, just have to click on space and click on view all spaces. But for if you really want to create your own space, then you have to click on create. So this will create your own pages. But for creating your own spaces, you have to go to your main space. And from here you have to create but first of all why we'll need the spaces whenever we are working with the organization or enterprise based application or software where we are managing each and every data on our wiki pages so space helps us to consolidate all the data for particular project in one space so space will provide a single repository for particular project but if you are working with multiple projects, definitely you will get access of multiple spaces as well. So for creating any spaces, you just have to click on create space. And from here, you can select your repository on which section you are looking for. If you will create with the blank space, it will generate the same. You can see here. Otherwise, if you want to make as a knowledge base or team space or document space definitely you can create these four sections so right now i'm creating with the blank spaces enter your space name confluence space and space key will be automatically created for you this is a unique key you can change it according to your need but post creating your space it, it will not allow you to change it space permission will be default as per your login credential but you can change it further now once you click on the create space you're able to see this page will be available here even you can overview a space and uh, you can see customize the overview using the edit icon from here you can edit it so basically it will rename your spaces if you want to create a new pages simply click on create page and that page will be available for you from here you can click on publish post making changes so once you're done with the changes that will be published for this piece if you want to highlight as a start watching this content so avoid by default it is highlighting for you but when you want to stop watching simply click on this and uncheck this so you are no more available for watching the content list if you want to share your space detail you can share with directly with the email id or you can directly copy the link and share with other person from here you can copy export archive delete registration page history all the details you can check it from here if you mark as an unstarless space so this space will be unstart for you but if you want to mark it as a start in this space 
definitely you can create your mark list of star icon here apart of that you are able to or you are allowed to create your own blog or you can view space settings so space settings will be available in terms of permissions so if you want to provide the permission or additional permission to anyone else you can provide it from here on the overview sections you can simply change the name or edit the icon according to your need if you want to assign or add a attractive look icon you can change it from here or even you can add your own customized icon or image as well from the home page section if you want to change it the home page section you can change it from here who has created you can view it categories if you want to add it you can add it sidebar configuration is also configurable so if you want to view as a uh, if you don't want to uh, have a look on the blog or overview sections you can uncheck it this section will be no more available these two items archive space in the archive space you can add your own archive space if you want to delete your own space you can delete it from here delete this space once you click on delete this space it will populate for you or give you a warning if you delete this space will no more be available for you permission sections will give you a desired permission for your particular space you can view all the permissions of individuals or chat notifications or person who is having access unless and until you will not include anyone this permission will not be changed for anyone in the content tools you are able to view the content or the tools available for your particular contents like must project documentations service team health monitor and you are able to see different sections will be available for you if you want to reorder your pages you can reorder it from here only if you want to create your own template you can create it from the template sections orphan pages the pages which is not assigned to any of this piece will be available inside this orphan pages undefined pages the pages which are not defined particularly for any of the categories that will be available in undefined pages sections whatever content you have deleted will be available in trash sections if you want to reach to it you can definitely go ahead in trash sections and restore it for a type of particular block or pages so these all our configurations are done for our space at the end if you want to delete any particular space you can delete it there are several other actions are also allowed like recently viewing the content of this species which we have already created if you want to add team members you can add it from here if you want to add or upgrade the plugins or any applications available you can add it from here so that's all about species and confluence pages hope you liked it if you really enjoyed the session consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching